The inbounds pass comes into Jordan. Here's Michael at the foul line. A shot on Elo. Yes! The Bulls win! The Bulls win! That's the Cleveland Cavaliers! Michael Jordan hits it at the foul line! There's Greenwood. Boy, oh, he was up that time. Gilmore on oh! Stop! Oh, oh brother! Lead Toledo Artists, you get 21! Take another look at this uh, Gilmore stuff coming down at a fast break. Boy, it's too... How does it feel to go from being an all-star to an outcast in a year? It's been a sad situation that I respect it. There's been very little camaraderie between the organization and the players through the time that I've been here. And this has been one of the problems of, for the losing record. This year, there are six bona fide superstars that will be going. Also after that, there's a group of uh, perhaps three or four players that are also ticketed for stardom. And the accent this year is on size. The Chicago Bulls pick Michael Jordan of the University of North Carolina. And this man is a can't miss, whether a guard spot or the forward at 6'6", 195 pounds. He's not seven foot, so he's not going to carry a team in the NBA. I don't think it'll make any difference if he plays forward or he plays guard. He's going to be super impact. There's really not any such thing as a one-man team. He is supposed to be that Moses to bring them out of the wilderness. Everyone's going to have large expectations for my play. I'm just going to set expectations for myself and go out and try to contribute and maybe not try to carry the team and just try to fit in and not just a Michael Jordan show or a Michael Jordan trying to carry the team. It'd be a spectacular night for the Bulls as Jordan has come up with another steal. Michael Jordan puts on his show. Bird trapped in the corner. Knocked away. Moses. Jordan chips it in. What a play. Trying to break the five-game losing streak. Jordan is fouled by Gervin before the shot. No basket. Well, I certainly would like a few of those. You know, we have 26 back-to-back -back games, and a few blowouts along the way wouldn't hurt. But yeah, it's a long way. The guys are pumped up, and we haven't won this game yet. I mean, this game certainly isn't out of the woods. The Daily Herald and the Southtown Economist. Our four uh, papers here in the uh, city and suburban areas of Chicago, and uh, that's the big story. Jerry Krause takes over from Rod Thorne. Great defensive effort by Jordan, who has it on the break, driving all the way in. Oh, God! An unbelievable ball! He put it in and it counts! Can you believe that? A great job by Smith. He grabs it across the arm. Here's your next hit. Terry Cummins finishes off with his 10th rebound of the game. He had 28 points to go along with it, and a happy Don Nelson congratulating Kevin Lockery as the Milwaukee Bucks come out victorious. I think my year was very, very uh, experimental for me. I'm very happy that I achieved so much, and hopefully next year will be more promising. If not, then maybe I'll retire after two years. <laughs> Thanks a lot, very much. Stan Albeck, the diminutive sort, Dana with a standing ovation as he heads off the floor. Dan's not the type you'd actually uh, expect to take on any coach in the NBA or anybody. I'm sure we're going to get a look at Charles Oakley, the rookie out of Virginia Union. In fact, here he comes on the floor. 6'9", 245, and he is really put together. He's a big kid. Has a little trouble with the shot. Exactly. Isaiah helping out. That's why he's not much of a shooter. George Gervin will be 34 years of age, 14th year, but his first with Chicago, played, of course, at San Antonio. So George Gervin, who's really had to make a traumatic adjustment going from San Antonio to Chicago, coming off the bench here. And one of the things I think we should talk about tonight involving George Gervin is the relationship with Michael Jordan, Jim. Jordan extremely upset because of uh, Gervin's acquisition with the team. At guard in his third year from Notre Dame, number five, John Paxson. Hands to Paxson down the key. Pax lays it up and in. And the Bulls have taken the lead. Paxson steals their inbounds pass. Jordan back in on Lambeer. Jump hook is in. Well, Stan really likes to uh, get the big guys involved in the game, and they've gone very heavily for some bigger bodies this year. They do like to run. Stan's always been um, an advocate of the running game, and I think you're going to see him getting out and trying to get the ball in Jordan's hand all the time. 
The Chicago Bulls in an unfamiliar spot. They're still on top. Three games into the season, they won again tonight. Michael Jordan was injured early in the game. Kyle Macy with a court-length pass to Jordan, who turns his ankle here. Now, Jordan had 12 points. It did come uh, about in games where uh, his time was up and he'd come off the floor and he said, you, you'll have to let me play another minute or another minute and a half or I've got to finish up this game so that we can win. And I said, Michael, I can't. What is the status on Michael Jordan's foot? So we asked him about it. Well, my injury right now has been uh, improving each game. I'm not conscious of my injury. injury. I'm going out and playing. I really feel good and you know, I have total confidence that my injury is completely healed. The Chicago Bulls, with over 50 losses, 52 to be exact, the worst record of any team in the playoffs, but they have a good excuse. They never really found an identity this year. All kinds of injuries. Michael Jordan, the biggest one. He went down with a broken left foot on the third game of the year. Six weeks ago, you were sitting on the bench. Yeah, it's it. It is. It's very hard for me to imagine. I'm very happy I'm, I'm playing now, and I'm very happy I can contribute to the team. All right, thank you. Good luck today. You don't have to remind me again that you are playing the Boston Celtics. Air Jordan's getting ready to take off. Jordan, with eight on the clock. Jordan, oh. ties the game. Oh, boy. 63 points, and you're looking at an all-time record. Oh, boy. Michael Jordan. That, that was a fantastic move. Johnson being pressured by Michael Jordan, and a whistle and a foul on Jordan, and he will foul out of the game. That is it for Michael Jordan. He has fouled out. He should get a tremendous ovation for what he's done in the series. I've always felt that basketball was fun, and it's supposed to be fun, and I try to make the job exciting, I try to let them have a good time, but at the same time we have to take care of business, and that's what this team has done this year, we've been very good at preparing ourselves, and guys really playing 100% every moment. Coming into the ball game is the rookie from Ohio State, 7 foot Brad Seller, the only draft pick by the Bulls to stick this year. Jordan, drive, up high, off the glass, no good, follow up is good by Brad Seller. Orlando Woolridge comes in, replacing Albert King. Some response by the crowd as Orlando Woolridge enters the game. 17 to shoot, Jordan, left corner jumper, yeah. I talked about the chance of coming back to the NBA, and he said, My NBA career is totally over. You know, I walked away from the NBA, and I came over here as well, and I'm going to finish my career here. This is not a very good basketball team when Michael Jordan is the only man doing the action out there. These guys are getting a much better reputation than their talents prior years deserve. So Jordan cannot be allowed to elevate them all by himself. Jordan delivers the free throw. Good. He's got 40 and that's nine straight games for Michael Jordan of 40 or more. He jumps ahead of Chamber one of Will Chamberlain's strings of eight. Second one on the way. That's in. 41 for Michael inspiration from those fans i think we, we all come out and play a lot harder two years last year you got 63 points in boston this year you get 58 points you're the highest score but you're what's next for mj a world championship you got it outside to the left one bounce dribble now to jordan michael in from the left side jammed it right over rollins michael jordan just went by everything livingston went down on the fake and up over tree rollins seven footer boom down slam really hasn't been able to get anything closer than six. Doug Collins has been coming up here repeatedly to give his own score key. The Celtics sweep the Chicago Bulls in three straight. Final score, Celtics 105, Chicago 94. With the 10th pick, tenth pick, the Chicago Bulls select Horace Grant of Clemson. A couple of weeks ago, I fell in love with the city, and Coach Collins and uh, Mr. Krause. The following trade has been consummated between Seattle and Chicago. Seattle trades to Chicago the rights to the fifth pick in the draft, Scott Pippen, in exchange for the rights to the eighth pick in the draft, Olden Polonese. Michael Jordan, the leading scorer in the NBA this year. He leads the Bulls statistically in almost every category imaginable. Great scorer, great passer, good rebounder. The Bulls fortunate not only to have the leading scorer in the league, but the leading rebounder as well in Charles Oakley. Full court pressure. Vincent breaks it. Has Jordan on the wing. The lob. The jam. And the foul. To tell him to throw the lob. There goes the lob. There goes Michael. There's the foul. And Michael has to hold on. Michael Jordan score. 50. They gave him a 50. They gave Jordan a 50. He defends his championship. And he took off further inside than he did the last time, but it's still a spectacular dunk. Jordan goes in for a jump, and he 
he jams it over J.B. Carroll. When he ducks over the top of people, he went left side, right-handed, and rammed it over J.B. Now that's what I call DeBosco. See, he was just taking these in that other one. That'll do it. The Bulls advance. They'll play the winner of the Detroit-Washington game. And Michael Jordan with 39 points. The Bulls advance for the first time in seven years. The Pistons inbound it. Time runs out. They win it. 102-95. And the Pistons have now a return trip ticket to the Eastern Conference Finals. A lot of gratitude have to go out to my teammates and my coaching staff and fans of Chicago. I think without them, I couldn't accomplish the feats that I did. And hopefully we can come back and do the same thing next year and improve our record and do better in the playoffs because they have an all-around better season next season. Unwilling to deal. We just keep our business to ourselves and try and keep it out of the media. And uh, we've been talking to people. We'd make a deal any day if it'll help our ball club get over the hump and win a championship. There's, there's nothing that we won't do to try to help our ball club. The Chicago Bulls traded rebounding power forward Charles Oakley to the New York Knicks for Bill Cartwright. They did get a, a post-up inside score in Cartwright, but you have to think that the Bulls now might have to go to draft a rebounder. Here's David Robert. Here is Sadiq. For the 11th pick in the draft, the Chicago Bulls select Will Purdue of Vanderbilt. When Doug Collins is seeing that kind of execution, this is the way he envisioned it. Jim, uh, you know, you look at the stat sheet, you see six Bulls in double figures. Now that's pretty good for a team that's supposed to be one-dimensional, Michael Jordan only. Second yeah. group to come in with that same Jimmy. spit and vinegar that that right. first group starts with. Absolutely right. Uh, they seem to lack a little bit of the intensity coming in. Uh, uh, they don't seem to express it as well as the starter. The starting team has been dynamic in the last seven games. By the Bulls. McMillan trapped in the backcourt. And the ball's up for grabs. Pippen is steal. Off the drive. Oh! Damn. Fight over Ellis. <laughs> Scotty Pippen, the power dunk. Timeout taken by Bernie Bickerstaff with 425 left. Getting everybody involved, the point production is up all over the lineup for the Bulls. But talking about Michael and the success that he's had, it's interesting. He may be considering a career change, maybe a permanent move to that point guard spot. Stolen by Jordan, it's a three on two for the Bulls. Michael on the drive, in for the right, pull it in, and a foul left to Kelly Trapuca couldn't run out of the play quick enough. Jordan was bearing down on him from the sky. The inbounds pass comes into Jordan. Here's Michael at the foul line. A shot on Elo. Good! The Bulls win! They win it! Set the Cleveland Cavaliers! Michael Jordan hits it at the foul line! Savoring this moment, Doug Collins, Chicago Bulls, and 20,000 fans in the stadium erupt in a joyous celebration. Tonight's Miller Lite player of the game, as he has been so many times, Michael Jordan. Then he hasn't been able to curl off that post. Lambert losing it. They are just not with it yet. Just not with it. Bill Lambert sure-handed normally. One on one. Five seconds to go. Jordan off the glass. Now watch going down in here how he sucks up the defense. There's your elevation. Off balance. Doing the split in the air. What can you say about Michael Jordan and what he has become in this league, Hubie? Uh, it's just nice what the building is doing right now. Total appreciation of a great superstar. What he has meant not only to the franchise, but to the city. The Bulls, the surprise team in the NBA playoffs. They took everybody tough, played everybody hard. But of course, everybody said Chicago needs to get some help for Michael Jordan and their young talent. With the sixth pick in the 1989 NBA draft, the Chicago Bulls select Stacy King from the University of Oklahoma. Well, they all like Stacy King. He is versatile. We know that over the summer we got to make some changes to make us a better team, to take us that extra step. Well, there weren't many changes, but there was one that shook the franchise. Doug Collins firing, a move that some people are still trying to figure out. Jackson brought with him to the job every credential but NBA head coaching experience. 13-year NBA player, five years a CBA head coach, and then two years as a Bulls assistant. What he'll bring specifically to the Bulls this season is a simplified offense. 
Michael Jordan should give up a lot of shots. He's not overshooting the ball. Get more shots. One of the reasons why we're trying to get more shots. Get the ball up the floor faster. Take a little less time getting a shot out. Get the best shot you can get before the defense arrives.